guys, welcome back to my SpongeBob SquarePants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman playthrough, part three. We need to get one more lever. Now we 
can go back. Still a long way to go. Back to Bikini Bottom. You like that? Yes, you do. <laughs> We will return to downtown Bikini Bottom after we complete the level with Sandy. There's no better oh, feeling man. than having a full stomach and your pockets loaded with money. And now for a nice long nap in the office. If it's a long nap you desire, then I can accommodate you. A customer! Well, step right inside. Place your order. You got the wrong idea, crustacean. Just look upon this little Stop treasure judging. and let yourself rest. That's right. Sleep. Bye, Mr. Krabs. Where would jellyfish be in the Krusty Krab? Yeah, that's a lot of bubbles. Look, there goes your delivery rival. Now is your chance to find out who is behind this. Don't let him get away this time. I'm coming for you, Cap. The wall cap. Mr. Krabs. I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs, but all those people who ordered food told me they already got it. Fool! Why, bless Lackey! <laughs> uh, I mean, that's okay. Others will soon phone in their orders and will be ready and waiting to intercept their calls. Aha! I'm on to your little scheme now, Mr. Krabs. It's all too clear that you're the one who's been trying to put the Krusty Krab <laughs> out of business. Uh, hi, SpongeBob. Are you a worthless lackey, too? Now I'm really confused, Patrick. Why would Mr. Krabs try to put himself out of business? Because he's a worthless lackey? Enough! Enough! Silence, you ignorant buffoons! Plankton! Plankton? Of course, oh. you nattering nincompoops. Who else has the intellect to mastermind such a plan? I would have succeeded too if it weren't for your utter incompetence. Does this mean I don't get that raise? Well, let's face it, Plankton. Evil does not pay, or even get very good tips. Your days of impersonating Mr. Krabs are over. You may have won that round, SpongeBob, but I don't need a disguise to separate your crabby boss from his fortune. Behold, the greatest Ooh, attraction to ever appear in Bikini Bottom, Chum World. <laughs> Everyone will spend so much money here, they won't have any left to buy your pathetic Krabby Patties. Now I'm off to Jellyfish Fields to watch the invertebrates get tangled in nets of torture. Ta-ta! Such vocabulary. I hate to admit it, 
But that chum world looks kind of fun. Yeah, fun. Where did Plankton say he was going? Uh, jellyfish fields. Yeah, that's a long time. That angle. Chum world. Now open. Okay, let's go squid with them, shall we? Wonder if there are any jellyfish around here. Nope. What to do? Uh, boxes, let's see them. Ah. Hey Squidward, what's with all the stuff on your lawn? A squid has to pay his rent somehow, so I'm having a little yard sale to make a few extra sand dollars. Now leave me alone so I can read my book. What you reading? It's called How to Defeat Evil Spirits, okay? Now please, let me read. How to Defeat Evil Spirits? That's just what I need! Can I please borrow your book, Squidward? <sighs> you can borrow my book after I'm done with it, okay? So look through my yard sale or whatever, but stop asking about my book. Hey, Squidward, this big acorn sure is making a weird buzzing noise. Acorn? You mean that hive I got from my cousin on the coast? No, I mean this big buzzing acorn in the glass case. I bet Sandy would really like this. Oh, yeah, I bet your little squirrel friend would really like that acorn. Why don't you buy it for her? Name your price, yard merchant. I'll sell it to you for 200 sand dollars. <laughs> Start saving your tip money. <laughs> I really need that book to save Gary. I just want to borrow it for a little while. But how will I ever get it away from Squidward? You must sneak up on him while he's napping so he doesn't wake up. Okay. Run from him. Voila. How to defeat evil spirits. Chapter 8. The Flying Dutchman. Any poor soul who awakens the Dutchman must suffer his revenge for all eternity. The only defense against the Dutchman's magical powers are his most personal treasures. These are items which he carried close to him while he was alive. Find Can all seven of those lot? treasures in order to face down the Dutchman once and for all. That's it! All I have to do is find the seven lost treasures of the Dutchman to end this once and for all. Barnacles, I thought this would be a challenge. It is a challenge. Hey, Sandy. I'm ready to buy this acorn now, Squidward. Well, well, maybe I won't have to sit out here all week after all. The acorn is yours. I'm sure Sandy will love it. I will. Hey, Sandy. You want an acorn? Hiya, Sandy. Boy, am I glad to see you. You won't believe what happened to me and Gary this morning. Let me guess. Curiosity got the best of you again. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Well, don't you fret, little varmint. This squirrel knows just the thing to cheer you up. A good old-fashioned karate match. Just step into my arena when you're good and ready. button a karate chop, press the action button a couple of times to chain attacks together, 
press the action button in the air to do a kick. Got all that? Ready, set, go! Now indeed. Very fashion. I'm feeling no more. No more. SpongeBob, that was some tussle. You did okay for a sea critter. Oh, you weren't so bad. For a land critter. <laughs> <sighs> that plum took all the fire out of me. I'm going home for a nap. Why don't you drop on by my tree dome and pay a visit, okay? That was sure swell of Sandy to cheer me up. I wish I could do something special for her. I know. I'll give her a present. But what would Sandy like? Mm -mm. What would she like? An acorn. Okay, let's collect some pants, shall we? Oh. Ooh, I missed one. Well, I don't want to be. Thank you guys for watching, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more.